Mango Math presents Pigs and Penguins, a pre-algebra game. Pigs and Penguins is a pre-algebra game that falls under the math stand of students will analyze and solve problems of simultaneous linear equations. The supplies that are provided in the sheet along with your information guide and directions will be two boards, one with a pig on it, one with a penguin on it, and then two dice, one that has pigs on them that are pink and one that has penguins on them that have black numbers. To do this activity, students will decide if they want to solve it, the problem through the combination method or through the substitution method. So they can each take one card. What they're going to do is a separate person is going to start by rolling two dice and keeping it quiet, not showing anybody, and then adding up the dice so that you know how many animals. So I have six plus two, which will give me eight animals that they'll write down. And then they will then figure out how many feet that is. And the black dice represent penguins. So each penguin has two feet. So that's 12 feet for the penguins. And the two dice equal, or the pink dice equals pigs and pigs have four feet, so two pigs would have eight feet. So we're gonna add the 12 and the eight together to get 20 feet. So the person who's rolled the dice is only gonna tell how many animals and how many feet. They're not going to tell how many of each animal there is, just how many total animals and how, many to how much total feet each one has. So then they're gonna plug it into this equation, x, which equals the number of penguins, plus y equals the number total number of animals, which is 8. And then the 2x plus 4y is going to tell you the feet because 2 times x, which is penguins, uh, plus 4 times y, which is pigs, will give you the total of 20. So then that's all they know. They know the number of animals. They know the number of feet. Now they're going to try to solve with what was rolled on each dice. Remember that the dice is supposed to be kept confidential, nobody's to see it. All right, so they're gonna start by doing that math problem and putting in the input that they know of. X, which is penguins, plus Y, pigs equals eight animals. Two X, or two penguins, plus four pigs equals 20 feet. So now they're gonna use the combination method. So to do the combination method, they're going to first multiply negative 2 to the problem x plus y equals 8. And the reason they're doing negative 2 is because the other problem, which is 2x plus 4y, which is our feet number of feet, has a 2 in it. So we're going to try to get rid of the 2x on there. So doing a negative 2x and a positive 2x takes that out to zero. And then the negative 2y and positive 4y gets us to zero plus positive 2y equals four. So we do that all the way across, the negative 2y all the way across as 2x plus negative 2y equals negative 16. We have the next equation, which we had already given. We just plug that in, 2x plus 4y equals 20. And now we're trying to get down to one variable that we're solving for. In this case, we got rid of the x's, so now we're solving for y, so we divide each side by 2 because we have 2y, and that gets us y equals 2. So we now have solved for the variable of y, and so now we can plug that into our equation, x plus y, now we know y is 2, equals 8. We subtract 2 from each side, and we have now x equals 6. So we now know what the x is, we know what the y is, and x, math, x is the number of penguins, so we know that you rolled six, and we know that you rolled two pigs. So we have been able to solve that equation. The other method is the substitution method. So to do the substitution method, we are going to do the same thing. We have our dice, we rolled them, we have six penguins and three pigs. Now remember to hide that so nobody sees it. 
We're going to plug in, we have a total of nine animals because six plus three is nine. Figure out the feet, we now have 24 feet because six penguins is 12 feet, three pigs is 12 feet, and we now have 24 feet. So we need to plug that into our formula, x plus y equals nine, and two x plus four y equals 24. So we have that figured out so far. <clears throat> so we put that into our equation, we start to write it out. Now to do the substitution method, we're going to just solve for the x plus y equals nine, we're going to solve for x, so we're going to take a nine or take the y from both sides and subtract it. So we have uh, x positive y and negative y, which makes zero equals nine negative y. So we have x equals nine negative y. Now we're going to plug that in to the other equation that we had. So we now know that two equals x and x equals 9 negative y or 2 times 9 negative y plus 4y equals 24. So we continue to do the mathematics on this. So we now have 2 times 9 is 18 and 2 times negative y is negative 2y plus 4y equals 24. <clears throat> we reduce this down even further. We have 18 plus 2y equals 24. So now we're going to subtract the 18 from both sides, and we're going to be end up with 2y equals 6. Now we divide both sides by the 2, and we now have y equals 3. So we've solved for y. We now plug that back up into the formula x plus y equals 9. So we now we have x plus 3 equals 9. And then we subtract 3 from both sides and we now have x equals 6. So our pigs are 3, our penguins are 6, and we figured that out, and that's correct. So they're going to learn how to do both methods, and they have the board in which to write it on, and they also have directions in which to follow so that they get this idea of how to solve for um, these linear equations. Some guided questions to help promote critical thinking is what process was used to solve the equations? What occasion would you this type of math be applied? And what if we include a third animal, like an ant with six legs? Could we be able to figure out uh, six legs? Would that change how we solve the problem? So some guided questions to help you figure a deeper thought process in this activity. So enjoy pigs and penguins.